Veronica is a 22-year-old girl who suffered a motorbike accident last year resulting in a spinal cord injury. This created profound physical needs and a reduction of 90% of her motor function. This accident was very traumatic for her and her family. She spent most of the last year in the hospital undertaking neural rehabilitation and now has started trying to recover her daily life. She feels that she needs constant assistance to carry out daily routines like moving around her home, studying, doing her homework, turning on and off the radio and TV and calling a friend to chat. Our initiative Brainable is about empowering Veronica to feel more independent and in control. Brainable facilitates the adaptation of Veronica and others in similar predicaments to their new situation by helping them in the inner environment composed of everyday life activities like controlling house elements such as the TV, light, heater, wheelchair, etc. and the outer environment aiding her to make new friends and sharing experiences with them by giving her access to social networks. Brainable aims to research, design, implement and validate an ICT-based human computer interface composed of brain neural computer interface, environmental sensors, physiological sensors, virtual environments and ambient intelligence. The brain-computer interface, or BCI, is a novel method of interacting with IT systems, bringing new possibilities to severely impaired people. In effect, it is a direct communication pathway between a brain and an external device. BCI uses a cap which is sensitive to the electrical signals of the brain. Veronica is able to select menu options by doing mental exercises such as fixing her gaze in a specific point. Then Brainable can read these signals, process them and extract useful information. The key features of Brainable are a novel BCI paradigm to allow severely impaired users like Veronica to interact with the environment, a proactive smart home to predict her needs and wishes and give her control over elements, and the virtual reality world where she is able to meet new people and share experiences with them. The BCI system requires a training period in order for Veronica to feel comfortable with this new way of communication. For that, a virtual reality application with a model of Veronica's home assists her in her first contact with this technology. Virtual reality of Brainable intends to be realistic as possible. Therefore, when Veronica is interacting with the BCI, the virtual actions are having an effect on the real world. But the final goal of Brainable is to assist Veronica to carry out daily activities like turning on and off the TV, switching on and off the lights, changing the channel on the TV, or contacting friends by Twitter. Let's see the benefits of Brainable. Veronica can control the lights of her home by choosing the right option in the HexoSelect interface, which will send the selected options to the BCI engine. The same procedure may be applied to other elements of the house, like her TV. This means she is able to change the channel mentally. BNCI interaction requires a high amount of processing, limiting the detection speed of a choice. Brainable builds up a proactive environment that helps Veronica in her everyday life. A set of configurable rules can be made to allow Brainable to trigger automatic actions. For instance, when it gets dark, the Brainable smart home detects this and turns the light on. Apart from the configurable rules, Brainable is also able to learn the habits of Veronica by means of artificial intelligence techniques so that the system autonomously can suggest a potential action that she may need. This graph shows a part of knowledge the system has learned. 
the horizontal axis is the time of a 24 hour period and the vertical axis is the frequency of the TV on action made by Veronica. As you can see, she usually turns the TV on at 6 in the evening. At 6, the system will propose to turn on the TV for Veronica by using the statistics it has learnt. One of the biggest problems of being severely impaired is limited mobility. Sometimes Veronica feels alone because it is very difficult for her to find people to just have a casual conversation. Brainable is able to support her here by providing access to social blogging such as Twitter. Here she can share her thoughts and feelings with everyone. At the end of the first year, Brainable is in a prototype stage. The system has been designed by using a modular architecture. As you can see, it is composed of several different modules. The first is a BCI module, which is responsible for capturing the user's brain signals and decoding the choice that the user is trying to select. The second is an AMI block that contains the ambient intelligent reasoning. The AMI is able to infer the user's needs from their current context. The context is extrapolated from environmental sensors to create a proactive and assistive home. The third module is the VR, which manages all the functionalities related to virtual reality. Finally, the smart home and social services are provided through the UCH middleware. UCH stands for Universal Control Hub and it abstracts the functionality of the services by providing a common interface for controlling them. As a result, this dramatically solves many communication issues. The modules and smart home devices of Brainable are interconnected through a local area network. The modular approach makes it possible for different teams to develop modules independently and simultaneously. Furthermore, this approach, coupled with the use of simulators, has improved productivity, testing, and has allowed individual components of the prototype to be demonstrated. For example, a BCI simulator emulates the behavior of a real brain neural computer interface. We can develop the AMI block, the virtual reality, and the UCH while the behavior of the BNCI is being emulated. Therefore, we can verify that the smart home devices are working properly. We can also use the simulator to control the lights or we can navigate virtually in the VR without the need of the whole system to be running. Brainable is a research project that attempts to go beyond the state of the art by providing new solutions in virtual reality, ambient intelligence and brain-computer interfaces. However, our project is not only about science, it is also about Veronica and all the people who are in similar situations.